Good morning. <sighs> Today will be a great day. That's when that's what we need to say. We have to be positive. And it's actually not that cold today. It's actually very mild. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still minus something, but it's there's no wind. So I think it's going to be a beautiful day. And we're supposed to have a lot of snow starting tonight, like almost 30 centimeters, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm kind of happy about that. I mean, it's winter, it's Christmas. Like, we already have a little bit of snow, but what would be Christmas without snow in Canada, right? So, I'm not mad about it. So, I'm leaving work early. Well, 30 minutes early. Because I've been having this headache ever since I woke up. And I just couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> like, at work, I was like, okay, I can't concentrate can do anything you know it's those kind of headaches that pound so going home and I'll probably nap a little bit hopefully it will pass have a friend coming over tonight I don't know if I'll cancel that a friend is supposed to come over tonight, but to be honest, I don't know if I'll cancel. I think I just want to lay down a little. Take some medicine. And see how it goes in a couple of hours. I'm probably going to text him saying that I might cancel, but I hate to do that. Because if I say that, maybe he'll do something else right away I don't know all I know is I need to sleep and just hopefully this headache will pass it's only 30 minutes early that I'm leaving but I'm beating all the traffic so that's a good thing but today was another like exhausting day you know when you have a headache it's not huge but it's there and as the day goes by, it progressively like gets bigger or more intense. It's not a migraine, because I mean, it's been there since yesterday. It was very light yesterday, but today is just like, it's kind of pounding a little bit when I do something physical. Like it could be like walking up the stairs. I'm a big guy, so you know, it takes effort for me but um yeah even like a couple of my friends at work told me they're like you don't look okay are you sure you're fine and I'm like yeah yeah usually like I I'll work even though I'm sick but right now I just couldn't focus so I'm like okay there's no way like I'd rather go home beat the traffic go lay down a little and hopefully this will pass I drank a bunch of water. I took like two emergencies today. Like, you know, the little pouch that has like powder. There are pouches with um, a big amount of um, antioxidants and vitamin C. So um, I'm afraid I'm covering something maybe. I don't know if, if it's how you say it in English, but um, I'm afraid I might have a little virus that my body is fighting or I might just be like sleep deprived like I was saying in my video yesterday but anyways enough negativity let's just say that I'm gonna go to bed I'm gonna wake up all smiles and no headaches and everything will be perfection yay my headache is gone I'm so happy and relieved I think maybe I needed just like a whole lot of sleep oh, thank Buddha thank Buddha oh, what's going on here and my friend is actually coming over around 9 and right now I'm about to uh, pick out the winner well pick out I'm not gonna pick out the winner of my first giveaway but I need to use like a um, 
what do you call those things? Those random.org type of things. So this is what I'm going to do, and I'll also edit... Um, I need to upload my video for the giveaway number three. So this is what I'm going to do. It's going to be very short and sweet. And the giveaway number three today is... Oh, yeah, Kiss Lashes and Broadway Nails. So it's going to be full of lashes and nail products. And it's open to Canada only today. But tomorrow you have it on the 11th, if it, that puts you in a greater um, time space. On the 11th, I'll have a giveaway with Annabelle Cosmetics. And you guys have seen me talk about this brand so, so much. It's available in Canada and it ships to the U.S., but a lot of people are very interested by it. But tomorrow I'm having, I mean, on the 11th I'm giving, I'm having that giveaway that will be open to Canada and the USA. And I will also have an Instagram giveaway between me and you for uh, Violet Voss. Violet Voss has amazing uh, glitters, so keep on the lookout. I'm talking with the winner of the Lush giveaway and she's so happy and it makes me very, very happy as well. I just love being able to kind of, you know, like give back in some way. And yeah, it's super exciting. I can't wait. And I have my other giveaway that ends in a couple of hours, my day two. So um, I'll have another winner soon. So I'm very happy. I'm so thankful to the company who wanted to do this project with me. Like I said, I worked on this project this project for at least two months. There's a lot of back and forth and emailing and what kind of uh, what kind of giveaway we want to do, what kind of list of products, are the products available, things of that nature. So I'm just very happy that she's happy and I'm sure I've seen her name. I'm actually like, pretty sure I've seen her name like quite a lot in my comments and social media. So I'm just so happy and thankful to have you guys in my life and <sighs> Let's continue with the editing with this big smile on my face. I also wanted to share with you guys that I, um, Lilo, a makeup artist and a blogger based in Toronto, Canada, asked me to, um, asked me a couple of questions and she wanted to feature me on her blog. So I answered a lot of questions and I kind of opened up a little too much. Like I don't regret it, but they were like simple questions and I went like back and like back 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 years ago and I talked about how I came out and how uh, makeup artistry has changed my life so if you're interested in um learning about me I guess on a more personal level um I'll put the link in the description box below and make sure you leave a comment saying that I sent you because it's very it's very interesting don't get me wrong but I like oh my god I need Oprah or something I need Oprah in my life because I just blab and blab and blab but thank you Lilo um for giving me like a huge opportunity and it's I know like I wrote a whole lot of things in there but it is the way that I am I'm very sentimental sentimental so Check it out. So it is very late. <clears throat> well, very late. It is past midnight, and I didn't really vlog while my friend was here because I like to kind of bond with my friends whenever they come around here. Most of my friends are in school, so they rarely have time to just like chill. They always like study, but um, their term is over. Most of them are done with um school on the 12th so I'll be able to see them for Christmas break but now I'm watching Love and Hip Hop Hollywood the reunion part two while I'm doing this yes this um this is the product I talked to you about this is the Tria it's a laser hair removal um thingy and oh wow okay I just noticed that the logo right over here, when you kind of do like that on it, it just fades away. So I don't like that. But anyways, it really hurts. It hurts. So I'm going to show you. So you push, it on, you push it on right over here. And then you need to activate it on the skin. Okay, so hopefully you can see me. The angle is not quite right. But anyways, once that you've activated the machine, you then apply it on the skin. Like, if you would be like a regular girl for your... I guess for your uh, legs, you would need like to go like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. But because I just want to kind of clear out, make my hair less, I want less volume, if that makes any sense. I'm just go like in 
random areas. Ow. And I don't know if you can see. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it doesn't. And the amount of pain is going to be like depending on your hair. So I have like, if you have thick hair, you're going to feel it. Uh, you feel it also more on kind of tender skin, like on my hands. Ah. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I feel like such a baby, but I can't help it. And when you go to like three, ah, mm. it's like it's the same feeling as a rubber band, but you don't get numb. That's the thing. You don't get numb from it, so it's always kind of like painful. But, and I'm telling you, usually I'm very, very like good with pain. Like I can handle it. But anyways, this thing, I swear, it takes me like, I go maybe like 15 to 20 minutes on each arm and hand, and after I just call it a day. And um, you're supposed to use it every two weeks. Now this is my third time using it, well, today. And I, I think I see a little bit more of sparseness, but once again, like, I want to use it for at least a good six months before I do like a full-on review. But that is the product I talked to you about this one. So, yeah, very interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work for everybody. I know there's some, like, a huge pamphlets with things not to do and things that you shouldn't do and people that shouldn't use it and things like that. So it's important to read it. But aside from that, I'm excited to see, like, the outcome. I just don't want to, like, gross out any people, you know, with my hand when I do makeup. That's the most important thing for me. Like, I, I would dive, a client would be like, ew, you're hairy. And to me, I'm hairy. I know I'm not hairy as a freaking bear, but I'm hairy. So, what can you do when you live in a shoe? With that said, I didn't vlog a whole lot. I took it, like, very relaxed today. A little bit of downtime. But uh, tomorrow I need to go to Walmart, so we're going to go together. And um, I don't know if I should do the big grocery for my parties next week or do it next week, like, a couple of days before. I'm not too sure, but I'm going to bring you with me and I also oh excuse me I also need to go to the mall soon go to Bath and Body Works to buy some um winter candles because I need that smell that floats in the air in my house so it's more festive you know so with that said I will see you guys tomorrow up and early love ya mean and bye